Okay, it is February the 23rd, 21, and three stocks on the main list. One of them, I'm just going to leave it because, you know, it's the stock everybody is looking at. And that is AABB. It's an OTC, nice runner. This thing will make a beautiful, at least I think it could make, um, in terms of probability, it could make a very nice number five pattern. BBIG is already being sold off as a NASDAQ up on the day, so probably I'm not going to consider it. There, there's probably somebody who's just shorting all of these stocks that are up pre-market because a lot of them just fail. CTIB, it's not looking too bad. Let's look at the long term. That's not really a really good long term because it's traded previously with lots of volume. So that's actually not a good thing and I did not want that to happen. I like the uptrending inverse, excuse me, the uptrending inverse head and shoulders that it had here. This is not looking too bad. It's not sold off. Did it spike yesterday? Yes, it did. All right, that's a bit sketchy, but 420, <laughs> 420 is going to be a level of resistance. If it even gets there, it looks like it might be trying to, but it looks like four is going to hold as well. Really uh, a bit anxious, but I'm going to be looking for number five setups like yesterday. And maybe if CTIB does something or BBIG, but those are, you know, less likely. At least that's what I've come across to find. And yeah, that's all I got for right now, 9-11 a.m. We'll see if there's any setups. There might be. Pretty anxious. I guess what I fear most is getting a... You know, like a nine penny OTC doing a nice number five, and I'm just like, I don't know. Because when there's that many shares involved, TD and Media Trade might not be able to fail completely, and then I don't know my exact position. I think I got that under control, but ideally, if we get an OTC, number five setup is at least 50 cents, but we'll, we'll find out. Okay, it's 9.20 a.m. CTIB just attempted to break the day high. And it actually, I think it did by one penny. This thing could continue the breakout. I just don't want to repeat or at least to get stuck in a repeat like yesterday where, you know, it briefly broke out and then it failed and then it had a big red candle right before the market opened. If not, um, yeah, it was definitely right before the market opened. I'm kind of worried about that. You know, especially because the overall markets are not doing that good. Kind of why I'm not really in that setup. Although I could trade something stupid small like 10 shares. Just to get into action. But that's not really what I'm trying to do. It just looks like the overall markets are starting to do a significant, you know, downturn to which you're able to see it on the, you know, even on a two year chart. So that's what I have in mind with ctib it could definitely do a nice run though doesn't mean it doesn't it just means it's a lower chance that it will when it had a drop here back at four dollars so it broke four kind of came back to four was not prepared for that that was pretty quick this immediate um reversal from four to now at 4 30 so then when it's in the four you know, um, teens and 20s here. I don't want to buy. I feel like it's a chase, especially given the circumstances with the overall markets, how listed stocks are not doing that well. But hey, this one, 21 million shares pre market already uh, has a very significant chance that it could pull off a very nice move. It looks like the kind of stock that can do inverse head and shoulder, shoulder, head, shoulder, another one. Not as nice, shoulder, head, shoulder. So yeah it's a potential i'll have to keep looking i mean the, the longer it holds the fours at least above the four dollar level if you ask me the better it's just gonna be a watch for now okay it's 9 26 to be honest i just kept my eye off the ball i probably wouldn't have bought anywhere here again just a big um ring handle not like a natural pattern uh not completely looking at it either because I was looking at the chats, but yeah, the same way that it held, uh, you know, four dollars, and then the very next candle is a big ring candle. I just kind of, you know, I'm not gonna chase any of this, and it's kind of a waste because it's 926. 
you know, had this have happened, maybe if this was 930, that would have been super impressive, but, you know, it's a bit of a wasted momentum, but, you know, this guy can keep going, everything seems to be down, except for this listed stock, could make number 5 patterns nice, or it could be just number 5 patterns that just keep fading or do fake outs, so, you know, I have to take all these things into consideration. We got four minutes till the market open. Okay, it's uh, 9.36, a bit crazy. A lot of stocks just had a huge drop, a humongous drop. Um, some of them were gap downs in. This is the one I picked, INTV. Uh, I liked it because it looked like it was having its first real down day. Big panic, 35% down. And I tried getting in at 43 cents something around 43 it just didn't work out I didn't get my order executed um, I guess it doesn't show it anymore but I just didn't get executed it said working but you know it never got placed I would have been in at 43 something and you know I can't feel too bad I can't put too much pressure on think or swim I try to buy 2,000 shares so that would have been roughly a thousand dollar position and you know it just didn't work out i just wasn't able to get in wasn't able to get filled and that's you know that's totally fine there's no other, there's, there's nothing else you can do about that uh there's a lot of stocks doing a number five pattern uh, just to go over the list i guess i don't know if all of these are doing number fives but these are all stocks that are down on a day and that is a cctl uh this one is still dropping but I don't like it that much compared to the others because it's not like it's first down day although this one could do a very nice number five as well let's look at a 14 day chart it's like right at support this one might work but a two, pen a two penny stock I don't even know the math on how much will that be for a number five I might consider buying this even though it's like two pennies unless I think I'm chasing we'll take a look yeah I was thinking about placing an order but I think it would be just chasing at this point CCTL yeah this one is potentially gonna do a number five setup right at the 20 not 20 not at the two cent level of support although you could call, I guess I call it 20 because it's easier STAC is also down this one might still do it, but I don't like it because it was only off for two days. BRLL. This one is doing a nice drop, but the problem is, is that it's been falling every other day. So, is that something you really want to dip by? It doesn't seem like it does it very well either. So, not something I'm going to really consider. ISWH. This one is down as well. This one, I wouldn't like trading. I just don't like the daily chart of it. And the other one, BFCH, I think is the one. The other one I was interested in buying. I didn't get um, in in this one. And the issue is, is that this one just had a gap down. This one didn't really just fall. This one, I mean, it fell, but it didn't have a... What the fuck is that? Am I really in this stock? I thought I canceled. I'm in at 49. I'm in at 40. That is hella sketchy. All right. We have a big guy on the bid and it's pushing it up to 52 just because this thing is so slow I'm gonna get out of this position if it's gonna trade that slowly I'm actually kinda scared of I'm um, getting in trouble even though this is gonna technically be a market order um, it's traded pr traded pretty uh, it's pretty liquid so in terms of the bid and the ask the spread wasn't that bad. I just got out. Look, if it's going <laughs> to if TD immediate trade is going to be that sketchy, dude. I don't know if I even want to trade it. All right, I sold at 50 cents. That really wasn't bad. It probably was this guy right here. 
even though I probably could have sold at 51 or something like that I just decided to get out because that is hella sketchy dude all right well I got in at that <laughs> that is super sketchy dude was it that I don't even know if it was that sketchy yesterday anyway I bought at 42 sold at 50 could have done better but I just wanted to get out because you know at least in at the time in my mind if it took that long for a buy to go through how long is it going to take to sell so i'd rather just sell immediately than you know to try to play it off the chart and then okay yeah let's sell here the the sell order isn't going through and the last thing i want to do is sell or at least try selling once the tide is turning that's sketchy too lots of people on the ask right now that would be kind of hard i would be selling right now even if i was still in the position I could have done a, a sell at the bid order, but I just didn't want to worry about execution problems. So I sold at 50, I bought at 42. This one might actually be better than that other trade. I guess TD and Mew trade is good with their entries, but they just have a delay as to whether the order went through or not. It doesn't even show where I tried to cancel it. Alright, well that worked. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, you don't pick a shitty setup because, you know, a good setup is a setup that, you know, something like this happens and you're in the green. Then they pick some random triangle bullcrap setup and, you know, you get wrecked. CTIB got wrecked. It was off by a few... Uh, actually no same minutes 927 big red candle just like that other stock unfortunately that's the case with listed stocks INTB yep number five well that was a great trade in terms of like when I got in and out but not the way I wanted it to be sketchy but I can't get too upset I've learned that this is the problem with all the brokers right now although maybe Thinkorswim is one of the worst or ones just because everybody is just at home trying to trade stocks uh, All right, I tried like, I've been doing this since um, 2015, but I, I officially came back March no February last year, which was before the pandemic right before the pandemic Pretty impressive this thing number 542 to 53 sold at 50 Flat, right at 50 probably could have done better if I clicked sell on the bid because at the time it was still looking like it could um, uptrend some more but I just wanted to get out and not be in trouble this would be harder to sell into right now you know at the turnaround so I'm gonna see how much I made with that trade it was 2,000 shares a $1,000 roughly position I'm only gonna have one day trade left but there's nothing wrong with that so yeah I'm just gonna go and see how much I made and uh, yeah I'm really glad I made that flatten out button that was pretty important even though I could have gotten a better execution on the sell I just didn't want to get in trouble I'm gonna assume that their entries are very quick it's just a at least today a significant delay as to it telling you when exactly um, you know, um, did it actually go through like a, as a notification of it telling you that, you're, hey, you're in the trade. So yeah, that's how I'm going to call it off right now. I'm just going to see how much I made. Pretty cool, I guess. Sketchy too. I bought at 42. Like a G. No. <laughs> okay, it's 9.48 a.m. I made $149 on that trade. Minus six ninety five for commissions two times. I made a hundred thirty five dollars after commissions. The number five pattern. Um, I made a promise uh, to God that I'm gonna donate half of my first three figure and I guess four figure trades to charity. I can't trade. I can't donate all of it because I have to pay taxes. But. That's pretty impressive. Uh, this is a number five pattern. You know, it's I try buying a stock that is up an OTC 
Um, ideally, a stock that is out many days, big drop in the morning, only in the morning, ideally before 12. Ideally, something like this with big red candles, right? And then the level two shows support. Doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes it drops, kind of bounces a little, then it falls again, right? So if you have support on the 14 day chart, that's even better. This one had pretty clear support at 42, although it could have tried to nitpick its way to 40. Number five setup, I bought at 42 something, sold at 50. Uh, given the circumstances, that was pretty well. I think I traded that pretty well. TD immediate trade, I guess, is going to have delays with their entries and exits. So, pretty impressive. Let's just take a look now and see how the other stocks, the other LTCs are doing. There's probably more stocks doing number fives. Today is only Tuesday, and I'm going to be out of day trades on that account. But it's going to. I'm still going to watch them. AABV is down. This one is still fading. Not necessarily the best stock in number five because it just had one blow off day. If it had a continuous subtrend, maybe CAVR. Not really doing one, if you ask me. This one is not that nice. And this one ideally would have been better, but I guess the problem is that it's like under 50 cents. It's like really cheap. I don't know. This one might be a Bitcoin stock. This one might actually be pulling off number five. This one isn't bad because it's not up that much. I mean, it is like, you know, but in terms of this bubble, it could be better. And I mean, yeah, right at 20. I'm going to call it 20. I know it's two pennies, but I'm going to call it 20. This one could work out. I would probably be chasing it. I would want to be in at 20, not 21. You know, that will be a 5% chase. I know it doesn't seem much, but if the pattern doesn't work, it's going to matter a lot. AABB again is just doing that. AITX. This one's just fading again. This is the same one from yesterday. I'm not going to buy this stock. It's not something people want to buy into just this crazy drop here. Let's see. BCII. I updated a whole bunch of the OTCs. NSAV. I guess this one did a brief number five from 30 to 37. I know it's three penny something. I just like calling it like that because it makes more sense to me. IQST. This one had a fake out number five. That's unfortunate. And this is kind of priced nicer. I guess the issue with this is that no, this one had a nice uptrend. I guess the problem is that this one's a bit choppy, but this one could still do a nice number five from here. Might have been just a fake out. Again, a lot of these stocks had a big drop right at the market open. You kind of had to pick the one that you thought was best. BRLL, I didn't like this one again. It's just fading. I might be repeating because they keep moving around in the second screen. But let's see. None of the. Wow. None of the OTCs are up on the day. The only stock that is not down on the day is COUV because it got halted. That's pretty impressive. So basically all of these guys in theory could be doing some kind of a number five pattern. CYDY kind of did one but it wasn't that nice. Some of these look like they're just starting to try a turn around but we got a nice one. ENZC, and before I forget, I need to uh, do a screenshot of the trade I did. This one did a nice number five too, 47 to 60. This one was nice, no choppiness, maybe a little bit of a hiccup here, but this one was pretty nice. That was a very good number five pattern, and that chart doesn't really support it. It just did a nice number five. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So yeah, a few of these did a nice number five pattern. Another one that's higher priced is TFLYF. This one isn't bad either. Number uh, five setup, I guess. It's a little bit wicky. That would have probably thrown me off. Ninety to sixty-eight. 
PPJE. No, not really. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna call it off for right now. Um, pretty impressive trade. I guess another one that might be doing it. This one is kind of sketchy. ABML, again, not the best 30 day ch um, chart, but this one could do a number five just because it's dropping that much. Right at 160 support. That's nice. Didn't give you too much time to get in, I guess, but I'll make an update to see if this one works. This one is probably just one of the more impressive ones. Not because it's worked, but because it's just down so much. Again, the only other one that I think was super nice, and you know, that's just me not really taking everything into uh, consideration. ENZC just seems like a very nice one. Probably wouldn't have traded it just because the 30 day chart didn't look that nice, but it did have this nice downtrend, so maybe in theory. I don't know. This is a pretty good trade, even though it did not go exactly the way I thought. I know a lot of people are struggling with these kinds of things. Um, I don't know if I had it on video, but I. I, I thought I canceled it because I was like it didn't go through. E Trade did the same exact thing before. So you just have to be cautious with the overall time period. All the brokers are suffering. People might look back at this bubble and say, all of these setups are so easy. You have no idea how much these brokers are causing delays and problems right now. So I'm just gonna call it off at the moment. And uh, I guess I'll be looking for more setups, but you know, it's already 955. All of these stocks had a downtrend, so probably no more number five setups for today, which is nice. I might miss one, but you know, it's not too bad. It could be much worse. Okay, it's 10:15 a.m. I've just um, I made screenshots of all the trades just to keep in the records and. That's all I'm gonna do. I'll probably look for more setup, sure, but I won't take things too seriously. AABB finally did a number five pattern, which is cool. Probably, I probably wouldn't have traded it. I would have assumed it would have dropped and then maybe consolidated and not really have done this uptrend. Another one that's doing it nicely is AITX. Today is a day for the number five pattern. I'll tell you what. 13 down to eight, now at 11. You might not think that's much, 8 to 11, but, you know, if you do some quick math, that's a, that's a pretty significant move. <laughs> and that's when I tell you how much is up. I don't know, 3 cents, 3 six, so, you know, at least, I guess at least a 30% move. About 30%, yeah. I think. <laughs> I, uh, something, something around 30%. CTIB had another unpredictable big green candle again just that's random especially here you know we got a range here a higher range a lower range but then it makes a higher high that's not something too predictable this stock is very unpredictable it's a low float stock so I guess it makes sense no real setups I guess to really look forward to other than that I'm gonna pick a place to donate half uh, the money to I donated yesterday 20 bucks to one of those food providers, I forgot their name, to Texas, with the thing going on in Texas. Um, you know, the weather is cold, sure, but it's just their infrastructure wasn't really made for that type of weather. So, of course, you, you know, you hear this comment from the south, although people in New York, you know, they get pretty cold over there too. So I'm going to pick a place to donate to. I'm going to just call it off early because I don't think there's going to be any other number fives. There probably will be, but the later in the day it takes, the longer it takes for the number five setup to work. Um, as we head towards 12, you know, 12 o'clock, the less likely it will do something nice. So unless it's just out of the blue, just trending, boom. But we don't have any of those. All of the OTCs. Let's take a look now. Yep. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Literally all the OTCs are down except for COUV, which got halted, so it's not doing anything. And the only other stock is NSAV, which is break even. Well, I guess now it's down. So 
you know, n none of those setups are going to happen. Just a chilling, you know, just straight chilling LTC, big drop out of nowhere before 12 o'clock. I'm going to call things off early, pretty profitable. Um, although probably would have wanted to have traded it better. I have to be cautious because, the you know, if it didn't work out, if I picked the one that just didn't work out for whatever reason, that would have been super bad. So it seems like uh, TD immediate trade, well execute orders immediately if not very close to immediately but when they let you know that you're in a trade that's going to cause some kind of a delay so i have to be very cautious very cautious with that i only have one more day trade available with that broker anyway um if there's going to be no more day trades available um things are going to probably start getting better at least as we head forward none of that gme amc stuff causing issues anymore you know, I have to be very cautious because even though it, 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 it helped out here because, you know, it was a good setup. If it didn't work, even if it was a good setup, that would have been super bad. So I have to be really cautious with that. And yeah, just call it off here. I don't think TD Ameritrade could do any better than that, but I don't know. Um, I guess the goal, you know, Lord willingly, um, I can do 100 trades over time eventually with interactive brokers and then I'll have enough trades to you know trade LTCs there which I'm gonna assume is better executions because there's just less people there and so you know bigger broker or I think if not just a pretty big broker in and of itself I could just like be crazy and make a hundred baby trades with some random Nasdaq stock but I think I'll just do it the right way I'm not sure I'll, I'll have to take that into consideration overall just a bunch of nice number fives happening all the LTC's are down basically down and yeah just gonna call it off here could have been way worse gonna have to be cautious E-Trade did this to me before you know it said later I was in the trade right and I immediately got out thinking that I didn't get executed. So yeah, just gonna call things off. Um, pretty good trading day, I think, overall.